Wolves on the loose! We're back on the studio! Wolves TV, we're back. Snowy Scotland. We can't really play on the grass, so Coach Don Edmonston and the rest of the Wolves are going to be at the Sports Academy in Harriowall University uh, to do their indoor training on some really nice astral turf. Okay, we're going to go inside and we'll check them out, okay? Wolves TV. Ooh. Reception. Coach Don's getting everything set up. The players getting set up up here. Uh, they're getting changing rooms upstairs as well. Um, yeah, just just fly around, man. Just do your thing, man. You know. So um, I'm not going to be talking too much because these guys are going to be doing their thing. Uh, this biscuit, by the way. Say what's up, biscuit. Right. Uh, they're going to be going on to the, the proper drills. That was the warm-up finished. Uh, that's coach talking. Let's do it. Come on. What's going to be happening, man, is uh, black shirts is defense, white shirts is offense. Coach is splitting them up, so now you got the different... I'm not going to talk too much, man. Basically, defense black. <laughs> <laughs> That's dunk up there. The fastest man you ever come across. He's 6'5. Very large man, yeah. He can still run faster than you ever. Well, you can run faster than the average athlete. For his size, trust me, that's pretty good. Um, don't even ask him about his records on the benches and the and the 40 you know yard sprints and anyway, he's right, I'm talking too much. <laughs> the beanbag doesn't matter. <laughs> Right, so everyone's up top, guys, okay? But it's good quality contact, okay? There's no slack in it, it's good quality contact up top. Every half wrap. Let's go. Receivers, uh, tight ends and linemen across here with me. Backs, receivers, over there with Coach. <laughs> of the helmet that's when we get spinal injuries okay, despite the fact this thing is really heavy very strong very protective that type of movement down onto the spine will obviously cause any type of injury so we always ask you to keep your heads up okay, when you're making tackles so you've got to see what you hit okay, that's the first most important rule in order to see what you're hitting and then to make a good tackle you've got to get low okay so could you just get in a low position you see Alex here's a quick short guy anyway Okay, but if you're up against a big heavy... To there. So what I've done is I've gained ground on my first step. The second thing I do, take this backside foot, and it is inside and up. So I've come my second step there. My first step, we've got contact, and now I'm going to turn it and drive it to the head to the zone side. So as I'm down here, the zone's there. I'm going to head to the zone side and drive, 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 drive. To there, to there, to there. So when you step, you gain a ground across the line. 
off the field and on the field we've done better. We've got our best recruiting class ever. And you can see yourself and the guys who were down inside the dome there. There was uh, a lot of athletes, a lot of guys that played high level sport and other sports that now want to play American football. Uh, and also off-season wise, uh, from outside and the coaching staff, the coaching staff has solidified. Um, everything off-field is really well. We won the award last year for off-field management. So off-field, on-field starting to come together, which says we'll be a best season. So that's the way it was in the season. The goals for the season is to go one better than last year and make the playoffs. If you want the sideline and you're cheering for the other team, back your ass up till you can't even see the green. Wait for the boom, hell yeah, we're about to get them. Listen to the sound so they know it's about to hit them. Here comes the boom. about an hour left of training uh, as you can tell yeah, I look pretty tired and I've just been running around with a camera uh, so you can imagine how these boys feel coach is really putting in the you know the effort now he's really straining the team make sure they you know after Christmas they always push it real hard and it's just gonna get harder from now on up until season so uh, everybody's still hyper everybody's still moving around real well so you know we'll keep up with training one hour left let's see what they do Okay, I'm joined by Ben Stones and the manager, the main man. Yeah, something like that. Um, no, it's okay. Can you tell us? We usually uh, do stuff like the Jack King Center, so yeah. we usually train. Uh, why are we in Murray Walk Sports Arena? Because it's snowing, or it has been snowing. There's a lot of snow outside. Uh, you may have read about it in the newspapers, seen the news. Uh, so all the pitches across Edinburgh are off, and we decided that we're not going to take that. We're an American football team. We're going to go and keep training. So we came here to we post one the best indoor facility in, in the city. Be nice to start so far. Seriously. Um, okay, uh, uh, Wolves TV, the same. It's not going to be ongoing episodes for now because uh, obviously I'm leaving and there's nobody uh, taking over. But Andy Cameron behind the uh, find the camera, he's doing his stuff. He's uh, been kind enough to, to film the Wolves TV for me today. And uh, excellent. Hell yeah, go Wolves. Let's take a look at the grass we're training on. This is probably the nicest astroturf I've ever heard. Not that we like talking about grass. Right here. Look at this. I just want to feel it. You want, you want, you want to just lay on this. You want to sleep on this. Excellent astroturf. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Harriet Watt University Sports Arena. Coach always has really good hookups. Again, thanks to the management. I don't know who does this, but the Wolves always seem to get the best stuff. Uh, really good. You know, I'm very impressed. So, nice astroturf. Uh, I'm joined by Jamie Charles, uh, he was uh, number 26 today on the field. Uh, first of all, can you just tell us about uh, where, where you're coming from first, you know, the past, before? before yeah, the yeah, I was born in Edinburgh, uh, my granddad's American, so hence the reason my interest in the sport. Um, started playing for an APM Mavericks three seasons ago, and uh, after that joined Dundee Hurricanes. Um, at present, I'm playing for, still present for the Napier Mavericks, I'm playing for the Napier Mavericks, uh, and representing Great Britain Lions at the moment as well, at defensive tackle. Get, get, get Frenchy, get Frenchy, run it, Dad. <laughs> Brothers, huh? Yeah, that's right. Frenchy, you Quincy, win. these boys, you come to the team, you make sure you introduce yourselves to them. <laughs> defensive backs, you still defensive backs? Yeah, he these is. These boys will kick your ass, they will go to your oh. house, kill your children, oh, and eat them. Like, what the fuck? You know, I, I think, you know, with baguettes, you eat them by, with baguettes. Baguettes, cheese, you know, I go home, like, <laughs> all the time, I bring legs. them for the whole team. And frog's legs. <laughs> and snails. Right, I think we've got to get out. Yeah, so. we've got to get out. Right.